From here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. A nickel bag gets sold in the park. I want in. Play fake, quick slant, quick completion. And a first down to pick up a 14 to Jalen Preston. Uh, how pretty was that? Right in his face, Will Anderson, number 31, was coming right at him, and the ball's delivered in rhythm. And, Ness, you know, when we talked to Jimbo last night, he said, I want some rhythm throws early in this game, and they hold, hold up right here. Bond, they held up beautifully, but he missed his intended receiver. They're I looking for got, a flag. I thought he got hit before the ball got there. Chase Lane wanted a flag, and yes. they don't get it. The timing was very close. Lane thought he got hit before it got there. Three-man rush. Time to throw it. And, yeah, I think he did kind of get hit. I do, too. Yep. So it brings up the punting situation. They haven't converted on third down. This is third and three. Jump pass. Yeah, that's going to be interference, isn't it? Didn't yeah, he? Yeah. It? Finally, a flag. I as thought... Weidermeyer's intended receiver. And that's Daniel Wright. Yeah, I think Daniel Wright had his left arm on his back on that play. I don't even know if it was catchable, to tell you the truth. Holding. Defense, number three. Yeah. Ten yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Which is important by calling it holding. It doesn't matter if the ball was catchable. It was hold before the right. throw. You see a little jump pass by Mon. And the grab right from behind on Weidemeyer. Man, that wasn't too bad, was it? It looked worse up here. At any rate, keeps when you the Aggies put, offense out there. Passes. When you put, there he got the first down at the 47. So back in Alabama territory for the Aggies. Mon quick throw, got it out in space to the aforementioned Anaya Smith. And he's still running, but he stepped out of bounds. But he did get the first down. I don't know if he did step out of bounds. Well, maybe he didn't. I don't think he did. The team's going down to celebrate. I thought he stepped out. I don't think so. I think Alabama thought he did, but I don't think the official Ooh. called him out. The sideline official never called him out of bounds. Now, replay might, but the official didn't. He's Left foot. Not out there. Right foot, tiptoe, oh and he stays You've got to be kidding in. me. How about that? Well, I'd like to have that play back, but good job, Anias. <laughs> well, it looked like his momentum and the shove would force him out. But finally, we talked about the little things a &M hasn't been doing, and we talked about how they were going to do, use Anaya Smith. That seemed to me like a busted coverage. Well, the touchdown is under video review. And then a missed tackle on the play. Does not force him out. Daniel Does Wright kind of whiffed over there, yep. and that's I thought he was out, and I gave up on it. Well, Day takes just, back and up. Second down to 10 for him at the 38. In trouble, throws late, and did complete it. Picked up a couple yards to Chase Lane. Lays flag, and Christopher Allen, number four, said, I got help. Let's see if he's correct. All the way to the 48-yard line. Can be able to put some pressure on this quarterback without blitzing. They're going to come with the three-man rush. And the throw is intercepted. Picked off down the sideline. Touchdown, Alabama, Daniel White. Throw was just a little bit short. Daniel Wright takes it for a pick six. So Daniel Wright really did a great job here. When you watch the replay, he takes a step to the middle of the field. I think Kellen Mann sees that and says, oh, I got my out to the outside. And obviously, he did not. Heavyweight championship belt after this interception. Watch what he does. Watch him go to the middle, then turn out, and he's got this the whole way. He's got the leverage. The ball is thrown kind of off his back foot. No juice on it, and he's able to cut it off. Can't play it any better than that. And the pick six gives 
The tie again, a two-touchdown lead. I don't think it was thrown late. It just didn't have any steam on it. And as you said, it was inside by maybe two yards, and that's when you pay for it. Dear God. That's why a &M was saying, boy, we like our old schedule. We could play four or five games. This one's complete inside the 25. And going the other way is Weidermeyer. Uh, he's got the first down. Yeah, I think they're going to give him pretty close to the 25-yard line on his forward progress on this play. Pick up a 15. Right side of your screen over here is Weidemeyer coming in on the crossing route. Good route for a tight end. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Just doesn't turn in. He gives that little stem fake at the top of it. So first down at the 25. It's quiet with the snap count, but all the college has basically gone to the no silent snap count, so you don't have that advantage. They're down at 12, across the middle, and complete. Nice throw. Chase Lane. And Chase knew. The old stop the tailback off tackle is no longer a part of that. <laughs> no more any puddles. Here's a throw out the water line. Cuts back inside. Nice move by the fella. And he looks like he might have a first down at the 35. When we first started doing this, we used to talk about the isolation play. Now we're talking about the isolation pass. <laughs> Isolate a wide receiver on a safety. And they moved the sticks as they gave Watermeyer the first. On. And now he moved the motion man, Jalen Preston. Go, 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 go. Throws back over the middle of Watermeyer again. On the first down as he crosses midfield to the 49 of Alabama. So two sides of this coin right here. Remember a, a, a week ago, Alabama got a big lead on Ole Miss and they gave up points and heard about it from Coach Saban all week about letting down their guard, losing their edge. Missouri, you mean.